time for the daily 100. Going to be a little bit easier than on the CRF. Got crazy gusts of wind right now. Um, it's not that cold. I got like an extra layer on underneath my riding jacket, but uh, it's maybe 60. And I know <laughs> a lot of people would be like, "What? 60? 60 freaking shorts and no shirt weather?" Well, <laughs> this is Texas. I always kind of chuckle though when I get comments like that about me commenting about the cold. Because uh, I actually used to live in Alaska. Uh, I grew up in uh, Virginia and Alaska. Um, I wouldn't say I really grew up, but um, when I was younger, I lived in Virginia and then Alaska. And my whole family's from Wisconsin. So we would take all of our like winter vacations to Wisconsin. So like, I, I grew up knowing the cold. But uh, I think I read that your body actually adjusts to where you live in as little as two weeks. So if you live in someplace incredibly cold like Alaska and you move to someplace like Texas, your body actually gets adjusted to the norm in that area in two weeks. I don't know the truth to that. I'm sure in some ways it takes way longer and it kind of just depends on who you are. I think there's definitely some truth to that because I know when I've taken vacations to like cold places, but, like I took a trip to Colorado back in college and I remember this because it was the first cold place that I'd gone to since I moved from Alaska to Texas. And uh, I want to say uh, later in the nights it was like um, just below zero, zero degrees Fahrenheit, so like negative four. Uh, I don't know what that is in Celsius. Yeah, like, I was really comfortable. Like, I was wearing just like a regular, like, flannel shirt at night um, by the end of the trip, even in that weather. So, I think there's got to be some truth to it, but... I'm actually going to exit, but I want to take a quick, uh, <laughs> quick jaunt on here. Uh, freaking love, I just lo love this bike. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, you won't have seen this bike yet. I know we got a lot of new subscribers in the past week or so, but uh, this is my baby. This is my 2009 Yamaha R1. It's a leader bike. Leader bike being L-I-T-E-R, short for 1000cc. And uh, she's, a, she's a beast, I love her. Out back we have, you probably can't even see it. Maybe, I can't see it, but maybe the camera can. Uh, it's a Tos. T-O-C-E, Toast, T slash exhaust, and uh, I love it. I freaking think it's the best sounding exhaust you can get on this bike. I think it looks freaking sick too. I love how it looks. But I wanna go, uh, I wanna go ride on one of my favorite roads. I haven't ridden it in a little bit, and I wanna go see, uh, see what the trees are like over there. People who have watched my channel for a while know about it. I call it the tree tunnel. Uh, it's just this area where you kind of kind of like just dive down on this road and all the trees are kind of like enclosed around it but that's mainly during the summer when there's a like uh, there's been a lot of growth from the spring i don't know what it's going to be like now but on our way over that road i wanted to uh show you guys something i was doing a little bit of organization on my computer because uh i just got a new laptop i got the new macbook pro that came out um i've been working on just a desktop for over a year but I thought I'd do a little bit of organization and transferring a lot of stuff over and uh, I came across some videos that I had from when I was in high school with my first car so I was in high school from 2004 to 2008 and in 2006 uh, when I turned 16 got my first car paid for it myself uh, it was a 2000 Mustang GT white 
with uh, aftermarket <laughs> fake Celine wheels. Uh, I think it was like a ZR brand or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I just know they had a ZR on the uh, little center cap. But oh my god, that was. I I want to build another car that's just like that, like the same exact setup, nothing, maybe maybe a little bit more, um, <laughs> but like just that same setup because it was so nice. Uh, I mean, relatively, I was in love with that thing. That thing was my like dream car as a first car. But yeah, it was a Mustang GT V8. 4.6 liter was what they were making it with uh, at that time. It had 410 gears. Oh, it kind of sucks that I have to sit behind a car while going through this, but uh, this is my tree tunnel. You dive down here. Yeah, look at all the leaves that have come off there. Um, in the summer, this is all like completely enclosed. Uh, it gets a little bit more up here, and maybe maybe this will be a little bit enclosed, but oh man. These trees really have lost their leaves already. But I love this road. Anyways, um, yeah, 410 gears it had a straight pipe exhaust, no cats, Flowmaster 40 mufflers, it had a short shifter kit, race light in the dash. Those are the main things though. Those 410s with the Flowmaster straight pipe, that was, uh, I love the sound of that, that car. But anyways, my point, I when I was doing organizing stuff on my computer and transferring stuff all over the place, I came across some videos that I had from back in high school when I had this car um, of me doing some runs in it with uh, my friend. Because, I mean, back in high school, I was, uh, even at that time, I was in love with just like recording everything. YouTube was like brand new at that time, so you know, vlogging wasn't a <laughs> thing back then. Yeah, so I found these videos, not on my, on, not on YouTube, but like on my computer. And uh, it, it was pretty awesome to watch because I, oh man, I, it just kind of brought me back to when I was in high school. Unfortunately, I ended up totaling that car, of course, uh, it being a Mustang. I didn't crash it into a crowd. I, I didn't do that, so that was good. But I thought I'd show you those clips. Um, I'm gonna drop a few of them here right now. And uh, after that, uh, <laughs> we can talk about it. So here is my first car, my 2000 Mustang GT. It's starting to rain. Uh, I'm gonna start heading back home. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys think? <laughs> oh man, there's a uh, way, way more footage of uh, high school Brent <laughs> that I found. I'll probably share a little bit here and there eventually, but uh, some of it was a bit overwhelming and embarrassing. <laughs> but what did you guys think? I know the Mustang is like uh, the typical high school dude's first car but I don't I don't care what kind of stereotypes there are I love that thing but yeah that car ended up being totaled it was the only accident that I've ever been in and then I, uh, I bought a 2002 Mustang GT to replace it uh, back in 2008 2008 I can't remember when I uh, bought my bought my second one it was 2007 or 2008 but anyways uh, I kept that one until I was 21 and 
and uh, then I sold it and bought my first motorcycle. And the rest is history. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those couple clips. I'm astonished at how far uh, <laughs> camera technology has come in the past 10 years. I mean, it has been 10 years. It's not like it's a short amount of time, but I strapped this little thing to my helmet and uh, it gets 10 times better video quality than that thing and that was an actual camera. But there's one other thing that I kind of wanted just to close with today. Uh, if you've watched my videos, uh, for those of you who have seen the videos of when I bought my Rekus, like the couple videos around there when I was looking for the bike and then the day that I bought it, um, or for anyone that's seen my face reveal video, or anyone that's seen any of my life vlogs over on my other channel, uh, I want to know what you guys think of those videos because those are some of my most fun videos that I make and definitely some of my most liked and viewed videos. But I've been thinking of kind of merging my channels a little bit and doing more of those, kind of like a mesh of both riding and off bike stuff. Uh, a little bit more life vlog style, but just to kind of make the content a little bit more dynamic and give me a chance to make videos every day. Putting content up on two different channels, especially when the videos that I make on both channels are both vlog, it's hard. It's hard maintaining two channels, and I'd like to bring more of that together and just uh, centralize the videos that I'm making. So. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you like those videos. Uh, I'll have links to those videos down in the description. So if you haven't seen those videos and you want to check them out, kind of see how they are, let me know what you think. Like, I really want to hear from you guys um, what you would think if you saw more of that kind of style content on the channel. Because I love to put out more videos for you guys, but I also love making those kind of life vlog style content videos. But anyways, that's going to be it guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Sunday. Sunday's build series video on the Ruckus. It's gonna have the return of Fry Riding. You got that to look forward to. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you guys on Sunday.